And now it's time for a fireside chat with Eddie Izzard. I, I think that's a bit unfair because I, you're not just chatting on your own. It's not like a fireside chat with Eddie Izzard and then you're just here on your own chatting. I'm here too. No, that's completely correct. I should. It's uh, Craig Ferguson and Eddie Izzard. Whoa, whoa. I feel like the Pakistani accent is overkill here. No. <laughs> I feel it's not a, a, a Pakistani accent it's here. It's pretty good. I feel it's uh, Dundee, because I did this film, Castles in the Sky. So Robert Watson, what, a Scottish man, invented radar. And I just did it. It was one that just came out yesterday. Well, well, as, well, it's one of the top ten dramas <laughs> in Britain. So I was just very... It came out yesterday, and it's one of the top ten dramas no, it, in Britain already? No, The Guardian said I had I had of Downton Abbey and... Um, <laughs> Flight no, I'm of just, the Squadron? I'm just really pleased. I'm just really pleased about it because it's, you know... It's uh, good. It's a Scottish hero and he, and he built this thing and with a lot of other guys and it's uh, available in Britain, not available in America. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, it's a good idea to promote it now in case anyone's thought, visiting from I, Britain. I thought... Prince William, for example. Yes, he could go back and watch it. He, he could go back home and say, I said, did you know that Eddie Azar's playing that Scottish gentleman in that I film? And, and then he... So uh, that was just pleasant to do. And I thought I'd come on and, and plug things that just really are not pluggable. Like my, my show in French is available in France now. <laughs> it is. If you fly to France right away, it's completely available. Formidable. I know. Well, I am totally impressed. But anyway, I quite like your fire. Thank you. It's, it throws uh, off an enormous amount of heat. I hope yes. you're not sweating. No. I, I, I like your, uh, your, your boots. Yes, I know. They make me taller. Um, I, I have found that one of the advantages of being transvestite is you can wear extraordinarily high heels and be a lot taller than uh, you were before. I, I think it's a bit unfair. I think that people who are not transvestite should be allowed to wear heels like that. No, they cannot. It's illegal. And um, I, I'd like to wear those. No, uh, you can't. You well, well, wait, wait. No. What's, the, what's the requirement to be a transvestite? Because I'm not, I'm not bothered it, about it. You need to have the genetics that you're given when you're a kid. You need to go through the hell of coming out, and you can't just say, I'll throw them on on a Tuesday. <laughs> That's illegal. Oh, come on. No. That seems a little harsh. No. Look, I'm an alcoholic. Doesn't that count for something? <laughs> you can throw on a bottle of whiskey anytime you want, but right. you can't. We're not like. No, you're not. So. Well, I don't know. Well, what about uh, then gentlemen's shoes for gentlemen that have heels on them like that, that are in no way gender related? <laughs> I think that that. I, I, I tell you what you can do. Okay. Is you can uh, don't have the heel like that. Have it completely flat, but then build up underneath, invisible to anyone, so that you're actually this tall. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you, you do. So you, we could, because I need a job now. What yes. we can do is, I'll invent this thing where it looks like your trousers are here, Yes. but that's really the start of your shoe. Exactly so. And you'll be, it'll be like going around on stilts. It should really work rather. Have you ever worked on stilts? No, I haven't. I've done just about everything else. But, uh, <laughs> no, as, as I should say, as, as transvestite, we don't need stilts. We could just put the bloody shoes on, you see? Well, I, I mean, I'm sure there are some transvestites right now sitting at home going, but wait, Eddie, I, I make my living on stilts, and I'm a transvestite. How dare you misrepresent me? No, I think in the world there are probably three of those. It's probably, you know, the figures are really low, well, I think. Well, the thing with kilt work, if you're a transvestite, yeah. is yeah. very similar to being Scottish, that, you know, people can look up what you're wearing yeah. and see what you, you've got underneath. But, of course, uh, the kilt, the Scottish kilt, is not a skirt. It looks very, very, very much like a skirt, but it is not a skirt. Well, what can I do that with these boots, then? I could say, well, these are boots, they look like transvestite boots. <laughs> they're very, very like transvestite boots, they're, but I'm Scottish, so they're not. <laughs> No, you will go to prison for that. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, but I, I think this, the, the kilt is actually... Actually, you know there are girl kilts and boy kilts. That's the weird thing. I know girl kilts are short. Uh, sometimes it's... <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're out of time. I have to get on with the show. I know you have... You're not even a guest. This is just a fireside chat with Eddie Izzard, and apparently I'm not even... Going to get involved. <laughs> but... No. no. I'm not here to plug anything, but I just want to say well done for doing this, and, uh, and you'll be missed because you, you've done this well. Thanks, Eddie. I, I have to say. <laughs> well yeah. Very nice. Thanks. Because, and this is, this is not Crikey. because I can't get on the, the next episode because you're not doing it anymore. But it's, uh, I wasn't sure how you would be on it. I, I heard you. I know. I remember you said to me, well, 
Well, I, I said, I said well, and then I put dot, dot, dot after it. Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't sure, and uh, I think you did good. You've, you've made it, you took it to a place where other people have been, but not stayed. And then you <laughs> went around. <laughs> and we'll be right back with the show. Where do you go? Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by IHOP. Everybody's getting together at IHOP for holiday hotcakes and classic holiday dinners. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. was very very convincing indeed <laughs> I'm very very it's I'm shocked uh, Jeff's not here tonight he's not well he's here but he's not working he's having a personal day and then I thought a personal day this close to the end he's he's gone for a job interview <laughs> I'm like, I, I, what, what, what's he gonna do what's he gonna do you do you know do you know what's he gonna do you know Where's he interviewing? <laughs> I think he'd be a good American Idol. <laughs> he'd be a good judge on American Idol, but I'm keeping the shape. <laughs> it's weird. It's like he's dead. <laughs> I mean, I know he is, but it's really like him. <laughs> And it's like back to the days when I didn't have a sidekick and I used to have to just talk to myself. Don't remind me of that, Craig. It was hell! <laughs> it feels weird. I know. I know! <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> I don't know if it is a great day for America because the British royals are here. <laughs> Prince William and his lovely bride, Lady Kiki Wigglesworth, arrived <laughs> in New York yesterday. Prince William plans to stay out of the spotlight to avoid the crowds, so he's going to a Jets game. But oh, there you go! But oh, wow! A joke! Wait, wait, hang on. <laughs> Did you just do a shot at the robot? <laughs> You just took a shot at the robot, even though he's dead. <laughs> Is that right, Jeff? <laughs> anyway, today uh, Prince William went to Washington, D.C., and he met with President Obama. He said, it feels weird being in the White House because I'm not an American. And then Prince William said, yeah, me too. And then, <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Lighten up. I know he's an American. It's a joke. It's a stupid joke. Do you miss Jeff? A little bit? I do a little bit. I don't. What are you talking about? You know what I mean. Anyway, the meeting with Prince William took place at the White House because Prince William wanted to see where Obama spent his days. But the golf course was covered in snow.
Very sad news today as well. Ralph Baer, the German man considered the inventor of the home video game, passed away at age 92. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got some news. Uh, in 2015, Bette Midler will be touring for the first time in a decade. And a lot of people have asked me, why are you leaving the show? Well, here's the truth. I'm going on the road with Bette Midler! <laughs> That's, that's a lie. <laughs> in an interview, though, Bette Midler revealed the secret to her long marriage. She said that husbands are better not seen. <laughs> Sounds to me like Bette Midler's been studying a lot of Balzac. You know, the, uh, no Balzac, Honoré de Balzac, the 19th century French writer, uh, Balzac famously said, the majority of husbands remind me of an orangutan trying to play the violin. That quote is accurate. I know my Balzac. <laughs> I have studied Balzac. I have. I've thumbed through every wrinkled fold. I have sat alone long nights in the library, just me and an old Balzac. Greg, this is a very old joke. Okay. At least I'm alive. Shut up, Jeff. Did you watch that thing in the Discovery Channel last night? Uh, eaten alive. A man was supposed to get eaten alive by an anaconda, and people are furious because the snake just kind of went. <laughs> it just like just gummed his arm. It was like he was like that. <laughs> and everyone's all mad. I don't know why people are surprised. Though television is always deceptive. You watch Dancing with the Stars? No <laughs> stars. You the learning, <laughs> the learning Channel, the Learning Channel, Honey <laughs> Boo Boo, the Learning Channel, right? Right. Come on out. Come on out over here. Come on. Come here over here. Come here. Yeah, come on over here. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, do me a favor and stand over there and agree with me. You think it's time for a commercial break? <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. celebrating having a Jeffrey evening and isn't it great? <laughs> well, may maybe he'll phone in. <laughs> maybe he'll text. <laughs> what, what time is it, Secretariat? What time is it? Well, it's sweets and emails time. Is that, do you want to do a jingle? Yeah, let's do a jingle on our own. Sweets and emails. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from Allison in Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Oh, I didn't know we went out in Mexico, did you? Uh, Allison says, Craig, do you miss talking to Jeff over the weekends or do you guys hang out? <laughs> Uh, this is from Lauren in Honolulu. You ever been to Honolulu? What do you like about Honolulu? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> you like... Uh, 
So you like horses with breasts in Honolulu. <laughs> I've been to Honolulu for a while. I never saw that when I was there. <laughs> oh, that's a thing? Horses with breasts. Do it again. <laughs> I don't think we need... Uh-oh. Robot? This is <laughs> All right. Lauren from Honolulu. Dear Craig, what can a person with no money do for fun? be if you had absolutely no money you could host a late night talk show at 12:30 on CBS but i think those days are coming to an end <laughs> this is from mark in green bay wisconsin you ever been there what's your favorite part of green bay <laughs> <clears throat> says, Dear Craig, I took a screen grab of your show and asked my hair place to give me the same haircut as you. Is that too creepy? Not at all. That's why I did. <laughs> yeah, I was watching this show from Honolulu. <laughs> What's the show again? Yeah, that show. No, Peaky Blinders. I said, give me a Peaky Blinders. <laughs> That's a show on Netflix where they have fantastic haircuts. We're still working on it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is from somebody else. Uh, this is from Phoebe in Beijing. Ooh. I didn't know we went out in Beijing. Have you ever been to Beijing? Yes. <laughs> Favorite part of Beijing? Uh-huh. <laughs> she says, Dear Craig, did you know that we have 4,447 fans of your show in our China fan club now? <laughs> a lot of people in China though that's like having one person in your fan club <laughs> in America isn't it <laughs> this is from Maggie in Roanoke Virginia is it Roanoke is that right <laughs> ever, ever been there uh, favorite favorite part <laughs> <laughs> that's making me very happy all right Maggie says, Craig, who's the best contact to arrange for you to do a speaking engagement here at our book club in Roanoke? <laughs> we are reading your novel right now. Well, then, you're good. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Hello? Are you there? <laughs> Do we have some music for me being sad? First guest tonight is a show business luminary. That's a, that, that's French for lamp. <laughs> She's a great friend of this show. Please welcome Carrie Fisher, everybody. <laughs> Carrie Fisher.
played. These aren't just shoes. You can't put shoes on the table, even though that's a desk and these aren't really shoes, but you can. No, but you can because in Myanmar, where I've just been and can't pronounce it really, I got you some gifts. And I was going to wear these shoes so my legs would look longer and slimmer, but it was more important to me to give you some penis gifts. Oh! <laughs> Now, do I have to accept these gifts with my penis, or should we just do it in the convention? I think the audience will probably help you in that decision, yes? <laughs> they look like a very penis-savvy crowd. Well, the, the trouble is they've already uh, heard my description of Balzac, and they're a little... Oh! Bit... All right, come on. All right, the, the, okay, now, here, all right, here we go. Now... What we, I guess you were in Myanmar? I was in Myanmar, in Myanmar, I think, but I, I don't know where I was. But what's important is <laughs> we have a kind of a man examining his... Um, he's taking a... Oh, you can see it! You can see his penis right down there! But practically not, because look at his face. He's not happy with what he sees. <laughs> well, I have to say, he's... He's, uh, he's very picky, cos that's not bad. <laughs> well, no, but compare it to... All right. Not only this guy's happy with what he sees, but he's got a woman with him to see it, too! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, I can see why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the same guy. No, yes, and probably for a product that they have. Yeah. So, you <laughs> get very, smaller, but your crikey. dick gets bigger. <laughs> May I have these? May you have them. You are the only person I give penis gifts to. Thank you very much indeed. I'll put them right here to cause maximum pixelation problems. <laughs> oh, I was going to guess that. Also, I, I, also, I tried to get you um, uh, ball sack because usually I bring you, you, you know. You do usually cover the whole gamut, but... Uh, I tried to get, what, are the, is <coughs> what were you doing in Myanmar? What was happening there? Jet lag like now. Yeah. Oh, I went because I went to an orphanage and we sang. Oh, good for you. I know. I know nothing about Myanmar, nothing at all. I'm, well, I'm horrified. Well, now you do. Well, I, I obviously know... They what have you. a product that makes you smaller and your penis bigger. <laughs> I well, know the, the word now, I was looking for. Maybe that's just... Well, junk. <laughs> So it's like, um... You are a very good writer, Carrie. You should be able to pull junk out of the air like but that. that's why I should... I've always tried to pull junk yeah, out yes, of the air. Yes, I know. I... But I break just like a little girl. No, but the thing is, that shows you how tired I am. So you're very, very, very jet tired because you've got the... the jet lag. Yeah. That's... All right, well, you have to take something for it. No, I, 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 I... <laughs> No, I mean, I mean something like a vitamin or, or a soda. <laughs> Yeah, have a soda. Now, if I get taller and grow a penis, you'll know what I have. <laughs> well, if you, if you get taller and grow a penis, I want a sip of what you're drinking. <laughs> That's that famous Scottish expression. <laughs> hey, um, where have you... Where are you... Where, uh, Myanmar and where else? Myanmar and then... Chiang Mai, because the whole Mai, I was just going to places with the word Mai. Mai in Why, are you just like Mai walking the earth? Because that's what I'm doing after this. I'm walking the earth solving crimes. I'll run into you. Solving crimes. Solving crimes. But not big crimes. More crimes like, where's my cat? Well, you know. Not crimes of passion. Crimes of passion. Where, where's my Where, cat? Pants. Yeah. Where's my pants? Where's my pants? Where's my pants? Yes. Where are my pants? Yeah. That's a crime. Where'd you get that hickey? Oh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. I see. Yeah, I see what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, those that crimes. That is a crime. Well, I, th I was thinking about being a detective, but not a good one. Just a... Just well, a... Anyone can have a good detective. Well, they're all so over the place. Dull. Every time I see a detective on television, they solve. Crikey. Yeah, I know. And they're really not funny when they do it. No. That is a crime in and of itself. <laughs> You're right. I want to be a funny detective that's, that's hopeless at detecting. There you go. Now, that's a show. No, 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 it's going to be not that. a show. No, no, I... it's not a show. That's not a... the important thing is that we do things that aren't a show now. Okay, that's good. I think I think I've got a couple no, of weeks, and then I can good. really do that. 
No, you can never do it. Yes, I can. No. What about Star Wars? You're doing Star Wars. I thought you were going to do not more Star Wars. I and now was you're going to, and I really did it. I didn't do Star Wars for over 20 years. I well, didn't do it. Well, that doesn't mean you're not doing it now, does it? <laughs> By the way, are you oh, do you see what happened? You touched I went my to touch, I went to touch your arm, you turned around and I go, a full hooter. <laughs> and may I say, congratulations. Jocko Ramos, you disgusting. Take that, teenage me. That's so sad. Yes, I... Oh. What? No, it's all right. Some man said to me this morning, people were treating me like I was sort of someone. He said... Who are you? What do you do? I said, well, I was in, I was in Star Wars. He said, oh, I didn't see the one you were. I just saw the ones with Harrison Ford. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I just... Was that was that J.J. Abrams said that to you? <laughs> Every day. Every day. So you're in the new one, but you probably can't talk about it, right? Am I talking about it? <laughs> no, I. No, I. I, 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 I won't say try. to you would be a lie, wouldn't it? <laughs> it, w it would be a lie to say that there were a new brand of creature that half Wookie, half human. Woman. Woman. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean it like that. No, Wookie. <laughs> I can't mean it like that. It doesn't matter anymore. Well, I, it was either that or I was just mixing the words together. I didn't mean anything bad by it. Don't get all mad at me. I'm not one of the bad I ones. I'm one of the good I ones. I wanted to practice walking. Oh, well, it was good. It was, no, it wasn't. It was all right. Oh, I really believed you. it. You were, you were <laughs> acting. Yeah, I was like, oh, crap. You know, that that it meant. turns out I was still in character all that time. I played Princess Leia when I was like 19, like 19, but not 19. Yeah. And then I stopped it. It just got annoying at about 25. Right. Well, you would have thought that I really stopped and then went on and did other things and so forth, but it turns out I never got out of character. Nah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> nah, I'm not buying it because what you've done with, because you started off like, just, you know, pop. You can't even say it. Yeah, I can, I can. <laughs> no, no, you were just like girl in the big science fiction movie. Then you became, boom, you, you did all that stuff and back and, and now because you've proven all of that, you can go back and you can do it again. Leisurely. Yes, it's fine. I didn't, I felt miscast this time. No, that's not true. That, I, you see, I. No, I think there's still on because the robot's dead. You. And there's no robot here tonight, and what does that say? Is that kind of a euphemism or something? <laughs> a euphemism is when you say one thing, <laughs> but it implies it. Implies it. Nah, it's, that, kind of, that, would that, kind, that kind of thing would never work here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. So what's going on? Had any parties at your house recently? No, you won't ever come to them anyway. He's instead of coming to a party at my house, he sent me a very large penis. <laughs> I didn't get any complaint letter back from you. No. Well, maybe now you can. We'll have a ball, and you can come to the ball. Yeah, right. And you can see where we. Well, I would like to. See where you've put your new penis eye. <laughs> Peni. What's a plural for penis? I don't know. I've never had to use it. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. It just sounds like I'm getting up some horrible. Who's there? Plural for a penis. Plural for a penis, who? Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> a, su a surprise of penises. <laughs> a, a, a pride of penises. A pride of penises. Well, you know, they're not always proud. No, but clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did want to come up with some uh, Star Wars products, though, which I thought would be good. And I thought little, well, no, old Leia for the scent of debilitating aristocracy. <laughs> <laughs> what about... For that spacey scent of Aristotle. I'm working on it. I had a really good one. What?
My good one was, I'm, here's one. Empathy, feel like them, smell like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I think if it all doesn't work out and, you know. Well, what uh, about this? I've got one. Okay. Parmesan. <laughs> great! That is great! That's so good. You're so encouraging. I feel like I want to be. I want to. I want to. Very nice. No, I'm not really. Yes, you are. You're very, very no, nice. No, 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 no. I know you can't bear it, but if right. I don't do it to you, you you'll do it to me. You're, You're so very nice. Please. Carrie Fisher. Yes, Bye. Please. Bye. <laughs>funny man he's here to promote his new fragrance empathy <laughs> uh, uh, he's at Caroline's in New York December 26 27th and 28th because he hates Christmas <laughs> he is the spectacular David Tell everybody David Tell. Craig, I'm about to live every guy's dream from the 70s to sit where Carrie Fisher sat. <laughs> yeah. Did you, you Star Wars? You start, I didn't know you were a Star Wars fan. Well, I am now. I mean, oh, she's yeah. She's awesome. She's fantastic, Carrie Fisher. Can I just say one thing? Having her come out here, and how cool is Carrie Fisher, guys? Come very, on. very cool. Very, very cool. But having Princess Leia drop the P word, peener. That is that, that's something. Am I it's right? Not, it's not. It's not the first time I heard her say it. To be honest, and and I will say, if you look at the thing she brought back from Myanmar, look at that. Thing. Oh wow! Yeah, see what I'm saying? I don't feel so small anymore. Right. And here's the thing, you wouldn't know he was Jewish, and then there he is. Oh, there we go. No, I was just gonna say, having her talk dirty would be like, I don't know, that that kind of it was not like how I pictured it. It's like catching like Santa taking a dump. You know what I'm saying? It's just weird. <laughs> I can, um, I can see that happening, though, Santa. Like, ho, 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 oh, here yeah, I go. That's it out. Yeah. The show has been great. I mean, you started out with Eddie Izzard, who is a legend. In comedy, he is a legend, you know? yeah. And then, uh, of course, you guys you bantering. Can't, you we can't. were bantering there, or was that just English talking? What was that, Game of Thrones language? What was yeah, that? it's ga Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's a Game of Thrones thing. He's okay. King Joffrey, and I'm Queen Beatrice. Got uh, it. Right. <laughs> but do, you you watch, do you watch Game of Thrones? Um, yeah, I watch For the it. boobies, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's very, uh, it's very boobalicious. Yes. And, um, you know, you brought up Star, uh, Star, Star Wars. Wars, and, uh, I have to tell you that, you know, prepare to groan, but I was a big Star Trek guy. So Nothing wrong know. with that. Nothing wrong with that. It's yeah. not, they're not mutually exclusive. You know I like Star Wars, I like Star Trek, I like penises, I like vaginas. What's the problem? Oh, right, there you go. <laughs> I love it, dude, because, uh, you know, Star Trek... They were out on a mission, you know, right. and they all like uh, basically, uh, you know, it was cool. It was like I like the early Star Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, when they were kind of out of shape. Well, they were just like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. But, but I'm a Picard man too. You gotta love a Picard. No, I don't know, man. He was a French captain of an American starship. I, I, I just don't make any fucking up sense to me. You at didn't all. like that? <laughs> no. You've you got a guy called Jean-Luc Picard. They're like, I take the starship over here. Maybe. Right. <laughs> Craig, you are you are kicking it with all cylinders. You know he's dropping the ball right now, right? Who? who? Bang. Oh, Yo, yeah, guy no, over here. Bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What a stiff. He looks like every guy in the front row of my show. <laughs> Slowly dying. Why are you why are you doing shows in the 26th, 27th, 28th? Is that a good time to do shows? Do you hate do you hate Christmas time? First of all, I don't like your tone and I don't like your posture. Okay, what is it? Okay, okay. 
so. Well, you like that? Yeah, why? there you go. Crazy. I'm gonna, I'm crazy. I will ask the question as Emo Phillips. Oh. Why? Too much. Take it down. All right. Um, Sean Connery. Nice. I like it like that. So, uh, tell me, uh, why are you playing uh, Christmas time? Do you hate Christmas time? <laughs> Do I hate Christmas? That's like a great uh, time for audiences because in New York, a lot of tourists come in. Yes. You know? And uh, I'm Jewish, so I don't care. Right. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Huh. Caroline's, that's the, that's the club, though. That's the good club. It is. Now, I know you are on the road, and I guess uh, you're coming to the end of this right now, right? Am I? Oh. <laughs> Do you know something I don't know? I thought you got the Evite. No, 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 no. Yeah, another couple of weeks. No, another no. couple of weeks. So yeah. let's trash this dump. <laughs> all right then. Let's Do go, something. Let's go nuts. Crazy. That's it. That's enough. That's enough. All right. You're a team player. Everyone loves that. I just, I just threw away a Jaguar's hat. Oh. I'm not the first guy to do that. Uh, what a braggart. Now, I was going to say, you're on the road, right? But do you travel, like, how do you go? By plane? By, how do you do it? Um, bicycle, big front wheel, little uh, back wheel. Oh, old I, timey. Uh, hipster, yeah. I got a big mustache, and I'm like, Daisy, Daisy, <laughs> from time to time. How do you travel? I, I don't think I travel like you do. I, I see you, like, on a private jet mm. to, like, a bus, right? Yeah. To eventually piggyback to the stage. That's what I see. That's like, right. Your feet never hit the ground. That's right. I, I don't like to touch ground outside exactly. the L.A. postal area. So I have people carry me <laughs> to the stage, and then there's a carpet down made of L.A., and I uh -huh. land on that. And then I say my stuff, and then I leave. Well, what are you, you're the same with Manhattan. Don't give it to me like that. No, I've been on a bus tour. Have you been on a bus tour? I've been on buses many times. I come to work every day on a bus. So there you go. That's what I was trying to say. It's like there's a difference between it being your bus and being on a bus. Oh, it's yeah. a totally different thing. Yeah. We should bring Carrie back out to explain the different smells involved in that. Because uh, <laughs> You tour with other guys on the bus? Yeah, I've done, like, uh, tours with other guys. Like, right now, like, I do this uh, live show, which I wanted you to be a part of, which is the Comedy Underground show. And we're doing one in L.A. in a couple of days. So uh, it's great. You bring out people like uh, past shows. We've had like Amy Schumer on it, Bill Burr. Holy crackers. Uh, you know, just really cool yeah. comics. And they come down and they do a little time. And then I banter with them. You know, I'm not as good as you. I'm no host. Oh, no. I think you're plenty good. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. We were talking the other night. I can't remember who I was talking about. going. No, more. We were talking. Who, who was I talking with the other night? Max? Was it Max Greenfield? Max Greenfield and I were talking about perhaps you are the dirtiest and funniest stand-up comedian working right now. I think maybe. But no, hold on. Oh, the, you know, the crowd got a little nervous. Yeah, there, yeah, because there's a lot of like Flavin just went, what the f like that? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a, I take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. I think so. It is a compliment. And these the PC times, you know, like, I don't know if yeah. you've ever, like, encountered one of these very politically correct audiences. Cool. I mean, your audience is cool, but, you know, sometimes. Yeah. But these, these guys, yeah. It wasn't always this way. It wasn't. No, people are always ready to be mad. Particularly if you go to, if you're playing in a club, there's somebody, somebody's mad before you got there. Excellent. You know. Absolutely. They're yeah. angry. Oh, oh, oh like, oh, David Tells made me angry. No, they're probably like, you know, like, uh, you know, they, they want it. They, everybody thinks that they like it dirty. And then when it gets dirty, then they're like, what was that? Yeah. You know, I was too dirty. I have to go home and gargle my head. You know, yeah. they just feel bad. Yeah. I, I make that mistake sometimes when You've I'm having sex. You've gargled your head. Yeah, no. When I'm having sex, they go, oh, do something really dirty, and I do, and they're like, what the hell was that? I'm like, well, you know. You got me. I'm European. You have an amazing look, though. I'll give you that. This is your, this is your new thing here? No, I'm getting, I'm getting done with this. This is, uh, I, I was a punk rocker, man. I was like, you'll never get me wearing a suit sitting behind a desk. Man, did you sell out. Look at you. <laughs> You look like you work the gift shop at the Daily Planet. That's what you look like to me. Hey, you want a Superman bag? There you yeah. go. Oh, oh. Clark, can I talk to you? Yeah. Clark. All right. So we're out of time. We're out of time? Yeah. What happened? Oh, everybody says they want it dirty, and then suddenly. Oh. So I didn't get to mix it up with the, uh, with the sidekicks. I don't even know what they're going to be doing. What's going to happen? Well, they're coming with me. We're going to walk there solving crimes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Not big crimes, just little crimes. You I have know. a feeling like maybe six weeks from now, I'm going to be seeing him on an episode of Storage Wars. That's what I think. Like, <laughs> what? Mr. Peterson? <laughs>
This week on The Late Lake Show, Michael Sheen, Mila Kunis, and Kunal Nayar. Tonight we learned that the horse has been to, where you been, Honolulu? What do you like about Honolulu? <laughs> and some other places. <laughs> Josh, we need you back. 